We are tracking developing news tonight on a URI gun scare. The Kingston campus was placed on lockdown late this morning, and tonight we're getting a glimpse of exactly what happened on campus. That was just a recording from inside the Chafee Auditorium right before some 150 students were inside the lecture hall scrambled for safety. It's a story we first brought you as it was breaking news at noon and updated with live reports throughout the afternoon. State and local police surrounded the building and made a sweep of the campus. A campus alert was also sent out through text, Twitter and social media. And tonight, no gunman has been found and police tell us there is no apparent danger. But classes in Kingston are canceled for the remainder of the day. We have a team of eyewitness news reporters at URI bringing you extensive team coverage. First, let's get right to Nicole Estefan, who joins us now live with the very latest on the investigation. Nicole. Well, certainly some tense moments here on campus early this morning. Everything is quiet now, and it really did end in what can be described as a positive note. Police tell us about 150 students were inside one of those classrooms. They all rushed to get out. Luckily, no one was seriously injured. After about three hours, that lockdown was lifted. A campus warning sounds. Students fearful. Just started running. We were like trampling each other and... I don't know, I just ran as fast as I could out of that building. What exactly happened remains under investigation, but police say a professor's vigilance led to the Chafee building being evacuated. The professor that was teaching the classroom did hear that uh, someone say, I'm a good guy and I have a gun. Police would swarm the URI campus around 11 a.m. They now say there is no evidence a gunman was ever in the building. At no time was there ever a active shooter or a handgun on campus and at no time was there ever ever anybody in danger. Though a toy Nerf gun was found inside one of the classrooms, it seems to be at this point unconnected. Now, state police do tell us this evening the investigation is ongoing, including trying to find that individual, if they do exist, whose comments may have led to this incident. We're live in Kingstown, Nicole Estefan, Eyewitness News.